guys, welcome back. Today I create a red and gold Indian inspired look using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. So let's begin. I'm taking the shade Sandalwood on a MAC 217 and placing it in my upper crease. I have hooded eyelids and for the glitter crease to show, I need to create the illusion of a more open lifted eye. And then I'm slightly sweeping that eyeshadow out toward the tail of my brow. Next, picking up this hot pink eyeshadow called Man Eater on a MAC 224, I'm placing it above the sandalwood colour. This shade looks pink in the palette but shows up bright red on my skin tone. And then slightly sweeping it out toward the tail of my brow as well. Taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on a flat concealer brush, I'm going to pack it on in small increments all over my eyelid but keeping in mind not to interfere with the two shadows I placed in the crease. Once I have applied a thin and even consistency, I'm going to slowly carve out a circular shape up toward my crease and this will clean up the look. Then picking up this matte white shade called Bay, I'm going to pat it all over that concealer on my eyelid. This might seem a little white for my skin tone, but once the lashes and liner have been applied, this shadow will keep the eyes bright and highlighted. And now for the fun part, I'm taking Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter in Midnight Cowboy and I'm placing it in the area between my crease and eyelid and this will give you that glitter cut crease look. As I have hooded eyelids, I need to apply the glitter a little thicker just so you can see it when I'm looking straight ahead. If you don't have hooded eyelids, a thin line of glitter is all you would need. Next, taking my Inglot eyeliner gel in number 77, I'm going to create a winged liner and making sure that the tail of the wing follows the same direction as the shadows we swooped outward earlier. And then I'm cleaning underneath the wing with some concealer. Using that same concealer, I'm defining the gap between my wing and the crease shadows and this will create that double winged look. And then grabbing that glitter liner again, I'm just extending the glitter crease to follow the direction of the winged liner. After curling my lashes and coating them with mascara, I applied Artemis Lashes in Beautiful Chaos. Once the lashes are on, I'm highlighting my brow bone and inner corners of my eyes with the white matte eyeshadow called Bay. And to further highlight my eyes, I decided to take Napoleon Pertis' Loose Eye Dust in Copper Element and applied it to my inner corners for a metallic golden shine. I quickly finished off the base of my face by contouring before highlighting my cheekbones with MAC Gold Deposit Highlighter and to further accentuate those cheekbones, I lightly spritzed my brush with MAC Fix Plus Spray for a more dewy look. Going back to the hot pink shade called Man Eater, I took a DMT fluffy brush and smoked out my lower lash line. This step is to bring the whole eye look together. And to further smoke out my lashes, I took the shade Black Truffle on a more dense pencil brush and focused this shade closer to my lash line. And the last step before moving on to lips, I coated my bottom lashes for my favourite open doll eye effect. I then applied matte Steva lipstick all over the lips and just for something different, I took the same Napoleon Pertis Copper Element again and tapped it onto the center of my bottom lip. And there you have it, my first Indian inspired look on myself on my channel. Let me know if you want me to do more of these cultural looks as I had so much fun creating this video. Don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.